Hello again. I'm Dr. George Taylor, one of the physician scientists at Celeste Regenerative Therapeutics in California. We make a product uh, called Antiage, the brand of topical skincare cosmeceuticals, and we uh, employ stem cell science. This series of lectures is uh, focusing on, on the physiology, stem cell science, and all things skin. Uh, we also have a website called Bareface Truth. You'll see the Truth Matters button on my lapel. Uh, we go by Dr. John and Dr. George. It's a good place to stop by, learn skin physiology, skin, skin anatomy. Uh, we actually do uh, product critiques and uh, we make friends and foes alike at that site. Uh, today we're gonna talk about how cells communicate. As you know, we all start as a single fertilized egg and throughout life some miraculous changes occur um, from that single cell, you get a fully formed fetus that becomes a baby that becomes eventually an adult that then lives a full lifetime and dies. That process is all controlled by cellular, cellular communications, molecules that act as biosignals. Collectively, they're called cytokines, but they're actually cytokines, growth factors, interferons, interleukons, a whole bunch of different types of small peptides and molecules that number in the many hundreds. This is actually relatively new science. You only need to go back several decades, two or three decades, to get to the beginnings of this science and certainly it's become more robust and, and much deeper in the last two decades. And even more, more recently, within the last uh, five or six years, we've really started to focus in on uh, the roles of these different cytokines, uh, what cells are making them, uh, that's the reason that we actually elected to go with bone marrow mesenchymal stem cells as our cell to culture. Uh, there's a slide that you're going to see of little red triangles fitting into a little form. That represents a cytokine or one of these different kinds of biomolecular signaling molecules uh, that's plugging into a receptor and activating it on the cell membrane. Well, that's a pretty simplistic schematic, the next slide will show you that a lot's going on in, on the inside of that cell. There's cascades of sequential communications and enzymes and, and different types of biochemical reactions that go, actually go all the way to the nucleus, to the, to the genetic material, and either upregulates or downregulates uh, the responsiveness of, the, of that genetic material and exactly what that cell makes. Uh, you can turn cells on and off with these cytokines. Uh, cytokines never exist in, in a single uh, type of cytokine or biosignal. There's always dozens or hundreds. Uh, in fact, when you take the trillions of cells that make up our body and the several hundred uh, types of molecules, uh, it's the most complex communication system. The, the internet looks minuscule compared to what's going on within our bodies. We have about 210 or so different types of cells in our bodies, and there's only one cell that doesn't participate in this language. That's the red blood cell. Every other cell is either making cytokines, listening to cytokines, or both. And cells have the ability to either um, create the same cytokine through autocrine, it's called autocrine. A receptor activates the cell to make more of the same and it passes that message downstream to other cells, or paracrine signaling. Paracrine signaling is when a cell sort of speaks to the cells around it and it secretes these cytokines and those other cells change their behavior. Uh, this is exactly what goes on when these mesenchymal stem cells show up at a site of injury. You'll read about that uh, on our website. You'll, you'll see it in some of the other things that I'm recording for this series. The bottom line is we now know that these remarkable cells are in charge of healing and they do so by what they secrete and science has proved that you don't even need the cells. They initially sprayed them onto wounds and the wounds would heal as if the skin was acting younger and now we know that we can actually spray on the, the broth in which the cells are grown. It's called conditioned media and the cytokines and biosignals are in the broth and the skin will respond just as if the cells were there. That is the whole way in which uh, our products are working. We're using paracrine signaling, we're taking that broth, using it on our products, and the skin's acting as if it was younger. We're actually trying to turn the clock back and get more like fetal wound healing. We've talked about fetal wound healing before. There's no scars. There's also a little or no 
inflammation. So we're trying to reduce inflammation uh, and that's why we selected the, the uh, cells we grow. Uh, we're going to talk about the inflammatory patterns of cells and anti-inflammatory pattern of our cell uh, in another segment. Uh, finally, let me uh, say that we already know uh, if you've been in the space, you've seen different products out there that grow cells in the lab and use their their biosignals, their cytokines as topicals. And after we get through our discussion on what these different cells produce, you'll you'll understand why we chose the mesenchymal bone marrow stem cell as the optimal cell to grow to make your skin look younger and more helpful. Uh, for more information, stop by antiage.com. I always invite you to stop by barefacetruth.com. I, I think you'll enjoy what you see. Thanks again.